Here we are tapping the last maple tree of the day. I thought we're going to make a little video to share with some like-minded individuals out there. So first you want to do to tap for syrup is get a 5 16 or a 7 16 drill bit uh, or one about the size of your pinky and you want to drill into the tree about an inch and a half. Now you want to drill at that angle. I got a little bit of an angle, upwards angle, drilling into there. And you want to look for the biggest root coming into the tree down by the grass line. You want to you want to go just above it, you know, a few feet or a couple feet above it, just preferably whatever size bucket or system you've got to to let it drip into there. And uh, so I'm about two and a half or, or maybe three feet up the, the tree there. And um, you can use a little spout, a little plastic or metal spout to stick into the hole. I just drill uh, drill it, you know, perfectly to where my line, my, my hosing fits perfectly in there. Uh, before we do this, we always shave off a little area there. You can see I've shaved the bark off to where it's a flat spot, a flush opening when you create the hole. And um, you can tap any kind of maple trees. This is a silver maple. I'll show you what the buds look like here in a minute. Uh, the best tree for the sugar content is the sugar maple, it, uh, hence the name. It takes about 40 gallons of its sap to make one gallon of sugar. Now it's going to take about 60 to 110 gallons of sap out of all the other trees, all, even all the other maple trees, to make one gallon of, 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 sap, of, of syrup. Um, now the birch has the highest amount of antioxidants and mineral and nutrient dense sap there is out of all the trees so some people prefer it over all the others um, there are some other trees you can tap including the box elder which always flows first of the year it's the middle of february and we're getting more out of the box elder than any other tree right now there's also walnut alder hickory sycamore poplar and ironwood you can get later on in the spring and i've heard you can even tap palm trees to get a significant amount of, of syrup out of those you don't ever want to tap a black locust or any kind of locust that got the long thorns on them. Besides that, there's some other poisonous uh, small trees like the smoke tree, sumac, and buckthorn. Besides that, um, we also use a lot of this sap to drink in our teas to get the most minerals and nutrients out of it. Since it takes so much sap to make syrup, we'll use as much as we can in teas and drinking, but it does spool, so you gotta you got to... Uh, keep it refrigerated.